Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial on problem solving shapes that won't center in Photoshop. I have a Photoshop document open here and it's 200 pixels by 200 pixels in size. We can see that by choosing image size and just read off the current size. Now, if I want to center this circle that I put on a separate layer, I'm going to select it. I'm going to choose Edit, Free Transform. I'm going to click the centermost option here, so it's going to be adjusting the center of this object. I'm going to type 100 pixels, and 100 pixels is the X and Y values, and click the check mark. In theory, the center of this object should now be over a position that is 100 pixels in from the left and 100 pixels down from the top of the document. Because it's a 200 by 200 pixel document, that would be dead center. Let's choose Edit and then Free Transform again. And you'll see here that the X value is 100 pixels 0.5. In other words, it's 0.5 of a pixel out. And however hard I try to center this over a position that's 100, 100, it's not going to do that. And I'm going to show you the reason why. So I'm just going to deselect this object for a minute. I'm going to choose Window and then Info because this allows us to access certain information about our document. And if you wanted to, you could just click on the Magic Wand tool, for example, and click on this shape to target it. And you can see that the width and height of this shape are 87 and 88. So it's 87 pixels wide, 88 pixels tall. If you can't read those values off, you can always select Edit, Free Transform. And then again, you should be able to read off the width and height. It's this width that is 87 pixels that is causing us the issues. An uneven number of pixels is going to mean that the center of this shape is going to be off by half a pixel in the direction where the uneven number of pixels is. So this is the width, so the X value is going to be out. The height is 88, it's an even number of pixels. And you can see that the middle of the shape is the middle of the document at 100 pixels and 100 pixels. So. The solution to things not centering properly is to make sure that you have an even number of pixels. So we know that this shape was 87 or 88. So if we want to create a circle that could be centered, I'm going to add a new layer to this document. I'm going to the elliptical marquee tool. I'm actually going to just turn off this shape. So I'm going to my elliptical marquee tool, and I'm going to turn it from style normal to style fixed size. And I'm going to type in here 88 and 88. So I'm going to create a circle that is 88 pixels by 88 pixels. I'm just going to go to the new icon here. And when I click, this is the size of my circle. Anytime I click, it's going to be this fixed size. So I can click and hold the space bar and just position it, try and position it over the center of the documents. I'm just using these smart guides here to align it. Of course, if the smart guides don't work for you, I'm going to show you in just a second how you could align it with the center. Let's fill this one with red. So I'm going to press Alt Backspace on the PC. That would be Option Delete on the Mac. I'll press Control or Command D to deselect this selection. Let's target this shape. Edit, Free Transform. You can see that its center is now at 100, 100. And of course, if it were not dead center, we could go and adjust these values. But we would be needing to work with a shape that has an even number of pixels in its width and height. As soon as we use an odd number of pixels, then we're going to be in trouble with trying to center it properly. In later versions of Photoshop, you have a tool for also creating shapes. So you could choose the Ellipse tool. And I'm just going to make it a shape here. So I can select the fill and the stroke. And here I can set it to be an 88 pixel wide, 88 pixel tall circle. So I'm just going to click once, click OK. And here is the circle of the dimensions that I have asked for. Just going to change the fill and the stroke back. But this would be another way of creating a shape that can easily be centered, that is a fixed and known size in Photoshop. Again, Edit Free Transform. Just make sure that it's in the center. It's not, but I can just change that. 
And because this shape has an even number of pixels wide and tall, this center point is going to be held and it's going to be exactly at 100 pixels and 100 pixels, no 0.5 because this shape is an even number of pixels wide and tall. I hope that this has helped clarify problems that you might encounter with shapes not centering correctly in Photoshop. My name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me for this video tutorial. If you like the tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications, including Photoshop, Illustrator, Lightroom and more.